I've been trying to relax a bit. I'm not very good at relaxing. Uh, I took the opportunity when I moved into the house to buy myself some new pajamas. Uh, I normally save that luxury for Christmas. Does anybody else get new pajamas at Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I brought it forward by a month when I moved into the house and I went off to Marks and Spencers. I don't know if you know this, but Marks and Spencers don't really sell pajamas anymore. They sell stay-at-home leisure wear. <laughs> So I, I, I looked them on the hanger and I thought they looked like pajamas. So I bought them anyway, I took them home, I put them on straight away and I thought they feel like pajamas. And I thought this is just Marks and Spencer's being overly fancy with the naming of things, that's all it is. And I thought what would be the difference between pajamas and something called stay at home leisure wear anyway. And then I went to do the dishes, I stood in front of the kitchen sink and I went to roll my sleeves up and the cuffs on the stay at home leisure wear were so tight that I couldn't roll my sleeves up. So I couldn't do the dishes. <laughs> And I like to think that was Marks and Spencer's going, hey, you, sit yourself down. <laughs> With any luck, the 90s will be flammable and I'll get out the fucking cooking and all. <laughs> but I think you can be too relaxed. I, uh, I think it's possible to be too relaxed because I think the filter that's between your brain and your mouth is there for a reason. I went for massages with a friend of mine. We came out afterwards, got in the car to go home. I was driving, she was in the passenger seat. We were both so floppy and relaxed after the massages that neither of us spoke for ages. It was really comfortable, a proper comfortable silence, if you like. I was just concentrating on the driving. She was watching the scenery go by out of the window. It was lovely. 20 minutes, we were like that. 20 minutes of complete silence. She chose to break the 20 minute silence with this sentence. I tell you who else is a bad driver. <laughs> the third thing I decided to do, I decided to learn to cook. I've lived off ready meals and toast for far too long and I thought I've got a nice kitchen now, maybe I should learn to cook. And I'm learning, it's going quite well. I don't always know the right words for things. I, can't, I couldn't remember the word marinate recently when I was trying to describe a recipe to my friend that I'd had a go of. I said, look, then you get the chicken, it's dead straight forward. Get the chicken, you put some olive oil on it. Uh, then you get some lemon thyme, you put that in with it and you cover it and leave it in the fridge overnight to fester. <laughs> But I was in a, a cafe a few months ago with one of my friends. She's the sort of person who prefers savoury over sweet. I don't really know why we're still friends. <laughs> it's nice enough. She ordered a carrot cake, and I was thinking a carrot cake is such an abomination of a cake. It's like it's got veg in it. Fuck off. <laughs> Some people choose to put dates and nuts in it. And you think, you're just removing all of the cake aspects. What you've got there is a shitty pasty. <laughs> So she ordered a carrot cake, added a slice of strawberry cheesecake. On top of her carrot cake was some icing and then a slither of something orange coloured for decoration, I suppose. And I said to her, is that a bit of carrot? Fair assumption of being carrot cake. And she had a little nibble of it and she went, no, it's not carrot. I said, is it orange then? She said, no, it's not orange. So well, I'm all out of orange coloured things. <laughs> Unless it's the tail of a goldfish, I've got no idea. <laughs> She had another nibble of it and she said, I think it's apricot. I said, oh, I can't have apricot. She said, why not? I said, I'm allergic to it. She said, ooh, what happens to you? <laughs> I said, ooh, I get the shits. <laughs> and she said, is it really bad? I said, oh, yeah, it was like a chocolate fountain down there. <laughs> and she said, was that just off one? I said, no, no, I had a bag of them. <laughs> She said, how many was in the bag? I said, I don't know, maybe 40? <laughs> and it was only as I was telling her that I realised I'm not allergic to apricots. <laughs> I'm allergic to 40 apricots. <laughs> But I was on holiday with my sister last year. And I don't get to see my sister often enough. And it was lovely to have a week together, just the two of us. It was really nice. And at the end of the week, she said something to me that I'll always hold dear. She said, it wasn't until I spent a week with you that I realised how many meals you can have in a day. <laughs> She had mistakenly thought that you had breakfast and lunch, or you had brunch. <laughs> no. <laughs> breakfast, brunch, elevens is lunch. <laughs> Afternoon tea, proper tea, dinner, supper. <laughs> A 
allowances. <laughs> and then a midnight snack that can last anything up to eight hours. <laughs> and a Milky Way whenever the fuck you like. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah Milliken, and thanks very much for watching my video. I'm on tour at the moment with a show called Bobby Dazzler. To find out where I'm going and when, go to sarahmilliken.co.uk. Thanks. Bye.